Hey everyone, I'm Andrew. I'm Dennis. We're the Crafty Lumberjacks. Welcome back to Handmade. Stained glass is super trendy right now, but honestly, some of those pieces are really expensive. And honestly, rightfully so, because it is a skill that people master. It uses a lot of materials, a lot of supplies, takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. A lot and... of things we don't have. <laughs> yes. So today we're going to make a crafty version of stained glass just using tissue paper and an acrylic sheet. I want that sunlight, baby. Oh my gosh, me too. <laughs> this all started out as an idea that I drew on a piece of paper and then Dennis ripped it up and threw it away. Yes, I didn't know it was a masterpiece in it creation. Was. I thought it was trash. But it's fine. <laughs> we have a little piece of it left. So essentially, it's just a, one of those modern landscapes that you're seeing everywhere. We're going to decoupage it onto acrylic. Yes, but before we get started, we actually had the idea to cut our acrylic sheet in half. This way, we'll have two panels. So we're going to start with that. All right, here's our acrylic sheet. We found these online. They come with a protective uh, seal on each side, so we're just going to remove the seal. And I'm actually gonna be cutting it on my cutting mat here, and I love this because it's a grid, so I can line it up and know exactly where the center is. And for this, I'm going to be using an acrylic cutter. You can buy this online as well or a craft store, or probably a hardware, a hardware store. store. Yeah, totally. Uh, so you see our sheet here is 11 by eight and a half. So I'm gonna cut it in the center there, right at the five and a half mark. Just line it up and then go for it. And you may remember our acrylic bird feeder that we made recently. Um, so if you remember that, you remember that you do not need to cut it all the way through. Yeah, actually this will be very difficult to cut all the way through. So we're actually just going to score it as much as we can. And I'm using a little bit of pressure, not too much, but you do want to make sure that you're making a dent in the plastic. And then actually what we're going to do is we're going to break it off. This is my favorite part. So we have a little crate here and having that surface is just going to help it snap uh, more uh, crisply. Yes, more evenly. You're going to yes. get a nice straight line. So, and then we're just gonna punch it. I'll do my Miss Piggy karate chop for you. Hey and there you go. Wow. You know, we've done this so many times, but every time I really think it's not gonna work and it does. All right, we're going to need a way to hang this once we finish our stained glass design and pattern. Um, so actually I'm going to pre-drill some holes in it so that we can hang it. And just to protect the glass, I'm gonna be using a bit of painter's tape on each side. Um, you know, again, just because we don't want the uh, acrylic to snap or break or crack. So this will hopefully add just another layer of protection as we drill. For the top piece here, uh, I'm gonna measure down about a quarter of an inch and mark it. And I guess we want it about um, two inches in from the edge there. And then I'm gonna mark down about a quarter of an inch down from the top here. We don't wanna to go too close to the edge where the whole thing cracks, but we wanna go down just a bit so that we have enough room to create our little landscape pattern and design. And then I'm gonna do the same here for the bottom, but I'm actually gonna go a little further out with my holes there, cause that's how I roll. Is it? <laughs> yes. I didn't know that. And now we're just going to drill um, down into a sacrificial piece of wood here. And you want to do your best to go straight down. There we go. I left the uh, protective sheet on the back here just because we don't want it to um, scratch as we work. Because, you know, we're working on some wood and hard surfaces here. We want to try to keep the acrylic as clean as possible and not scratched up. Looks pretty good. No cracking. Uh, all right, and now we're ready to start um, adding our tissue paper. I made it bigger. I'm actually gonna use this as a template, so I drew it to size, and what I'm gonna do is cut out each piece and then lay it on top of the tissue paper and then cut out those pieces so everything is cut correctly, and then it'll be time to decoupage. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're using a very watered down decoupage medium uh, because the tissue paper is very delicate. We don't wanna use um, something really heavy or super thick. You know, if you're having trouble with the tissue paper, you could always use kite paper, which is a little thicker than tissue paper. 
And we're actually going to brush some on right onto the acrylic sheet there. And you see we kept our um, pattern underneath just to kind of keep everything lined up. And we're kind of reminding ourselves by saying this, but tissue paper is going to wrinkle, so it's gonna look uh, a little organic is what we're gonna call it. Yes, and that's all right. Yes, absolutely. It'll just add some texture, so if that happens to you, it's okay. And I'm gonna be very careful to line this up here on the edge. You see, you will get an instant stick. And that's what's great about this watered down um, decoupage medium is that there is still room to lift and place your image if it kind of doesn't land in the right area. And then I'm actually going to add a top coat here just to seal the deal. And this will help keep everything laying flat. You know, and again, if we get wrinkles, that's okay. Yeah, it's just, it's a nice added texture. It's wrinkles really show nice. that we lived, honey. You know? That's what us old people say. And then I'm just going to continue with our pattern here. Now I will say that cutting tissue paper was harder than I remembered. So some parts are not perfect. And for those part, we're just gonna overlap other areas. It's really not a huge deal. Again, we're calling it organic. Now a good tip is to rinse out your brush that you're using in between unlike colors. As you can kind of see, it starts to uh, bleed just from the tissue paper. So if you start to see um, a little bit of that color go through, just quickly wash your brush. Yeah, you don't need to panic, it's okay. <laughs> Andrew's panicking. I'm so panicked. <laughs> And now we're going to start uh, working on our top piece here, doing the same thing. You know, getting the acrylic covered with that decoupage medium. I wonder, you could even probably do this with napkins. Oh yeah, totally. Napkins work great um, to decoupage. Yes. And they also have some pretty fun designs. Totally, and they're a little thicker, so they're a little easier to work with. And you don't want to press too hard with your brush. You want to be very delicate with it. It looks pretty good so far. I'm really, I'm really liking it. it. I can't believe it. We're almost there. Bigger pieces seem a little bit trickier to do. Would you agree with that? Yes. <laughs> this is cut... Uh, not great, Andrew. Oh my gosh. It's okay, I forgive you. Thanks. Cutting tissue paper is hard. It is. Here comes the sun. Da, 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 da. Just gonna go back, check my work, see if there's any bubbling or weird things happening and just kind of brush them out to the side. Now we're going to set it to dry. It's looking so good. It I can't is. wait to see how it turns oh out. Gosh. Now we're going to add the in between the pieces of the, the stained glass, which yes. is the soldering, the metal, but we're not gonna use metal here. We're, we're not going gonna to actually be, be using string. Yeah, and we thought about how we were gonna do it if we wanted to try to make it exact or whatever, but we decided to make it a little more free formed. So it's gonna have a little bit of that line art look. It's gonna be easier to do, and I think it's gonna be nice and fresh. Let's hope. Yeah. So I'm just cutting up some pieces of string just so I have it ready. And what we're going to do is just dip it right into the decoupage medium, just so it's nice and soaked, and then lay it right on top. I still wanna be delicate just so I make sure I don't rip anything, but I'm gonna try my best to lay it on nicely and press it down pretty well. And the best thing about using a decoupage medium is that it will always dry clear. So we don't have to worry if it's spotting or if there's an area that is overly saturated because it will dry clear and you won't even be able to tell. Totally. And it's like fun to play with. Yes. I know, are you really crafting if you don't get your hands completely messy, covered in glue? I think there's even some glitter in this piece now. I know. Because there's glitter, you know, glitter gets everywhere. Glitter just like falls from the rafters here. Or it might be Teddy's tail. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows where it's coming from? And if you were doing more traditional stained glass look, you would actually follow the uh, cut of the tissue paper. But like Andrew said earlier, we wanted to do a linear, suggestive kind of soldered look. 
Um, so that's what we're going for here. Yeah, so I'm kind of just, uh, you know, just eyeballing it, just kind of letting it do its thing. What do you think so far, Dennis? Good. Do you like that? <laughs> not really. But... Oh, gosh. Okay, so you know what? I'm not liking it either, so I'm just going to kind of... Adjust. Adjust. Here it comes Teddy. What are you doing, baby? No. Oh, God. Oh, God, Teddy. All right, I'm really happy with the way it's looking, so we're going to set it to dry, and then we're going to add our hardware. All right, while this is drying, I'm going to carefully add uh, the hardware, which is going to be some chains and some jump rings keeping it really easy. Now we do have our holes in here, so I'm just gonna take a skewer and poke it through. And now I'm just gonna add my jump ring through the hole and add my other jump ring on the other side of the chain and just close it up. It looks great already. So for the two panels to connect, I'm just going to use, I just added two jump rings to a small piece of chain. Yeah, you want to make sure that it's it's closed, you know, so it doesn't fall out in the middle of the night when Teddy's running around. But the greatest thing about this is we know it will not break because it's just acrylic. Whew, all right. Looks pretty good. I can't believe we turned this into this. It looks so good. We're gonna yes. hang it up using a little suction cup. This was a really fun craft to make. It almost felt like a camp craft, but elevated. Yes, we wanna hear from you in a comment below if you've ever made your own stained glass yes. and if you're willing to teach us. We think we're ready. <laughs> Give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.